Now, this is an absolute epic of a work. It was written at the beginning of the last century, and it was written at a time when England had an incredible navy, and of course, all travel happened on the sea. It's also got a lot of mysticism attached to it. It's not just a journey across the sea or through the sea, but it's also a journey through life and the journey to the afterlife. It's an incredible display of textures and techniques that Vaughan Williams has explored. At the very beginning, there are some incredible brass chords. That's followed by the chorus coming in, and within literally a couple of bars of the piece, there's this sort of knee-jerk key change. So it's an incredibly exciting opening. And then throughout the piece, we've got shimmering strings, we've got swirling woodwinds, we've got pounding brass and crashing percussion. This is the kind of work that people should just come and listen to and be part of, really, because nothing like this had ever happened before in this symphonic world. Mahler had written big works, but something that in, had involved these kind of scales and the proportion of big orchestra, big chorus, and the soloists had never really been explored before, so it was a landmark composition.